Hey YouTube, it's iHax here. Today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to use your Nano um, with your jailbroken iPad as a flash drive. So I just picked this up about a week and a half ago. I got myself a Nano watch. Uh, I actually got it from GameStop, which is kind of interesting. But uh, the wristband, I bought at Apple. It's a Hex wristband, H-E-X. Let's see if I can get it to focus in. Well kind of. So it's a HEX hex wristband and then it's just a regular 6th uh, generation nano. And uh, so basically like most of the jailbroken community I got this and I was like what can I do with it that uh, Apple really doesn't advertise. So this is what I found after a while here. Um, I found that actually with your camera connection kit which I got already plugged into my uh, iPad you can actually set it up as a flash drive so that way uh, you can transfer files from any computer to the um, nano and then onto your iPad and then uh, vice versa the other way around as well so I just plug it in uh, it's gonna say connected and I'll go ahead and set this down for a second and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click into your iFile and it'll show up in the uh, top left hand corner as a flash drive right over here and you're just going to want to select it I'll go ahead and, oh, it's actually already on here so this is what's inside that flash drive at this moment I made my own folder you won't see that on yours if you connect it up right away that's my nano flash folder I hold some of the documents I already have so um, for this example I'm going to grab a file from my iPad put it on my nano and then put it over to a computer which you can do um, yourself if you uh, feel the need to so I'm gonna go ahead go to let's see what I got here uh, let's see downloads let's do word documents mm -hmm. alright let's just grab this uh, transcript and I'm going to press copy because I don't want it to disappear off my iPad forever. And then go ahead and put it on the flash drive or on my Nano, I guess. Go ahead and press edit and then paste. So right now it's inside my Nano. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and eject it. it again I guess there we go and then I'm gonna unplug it and we're gonna go over to my computer now <coughs> all right there's my computer and then I've already got it plugged into the USB so I'll just go ahead and connect it through here And then in a little bit, it should pop up. There it is. Let's see if I can get you a closer shot. There it is. My Nano. So, go ahead and go into there. In a second. Alright, let's see. Let's go into there. So you'll see it says Nano Flash right there where my mouse cursor is at. And then right there. It says transcript. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that and um, pull it over onto my desktop. And so now I have it on my computer. So, I don't know if you guys will have uh, use for it like me, but I like to uh, work on my documents on my iPad and then uh, move them over to the computers at school so I can print them out. But One last thing, guys, that I forgot to show you is that um, if your iPod is not showing up on your iPad as a flash drive or on your computer as a flash drive, um, all you need to do 
is head over to iTunes, select wherever your Nano is, and uh, you're going to need to scroll down here and enable disk use. So that uh, that's an important factor that I, or an important step that I guess I skipped over. So just enable disk use, uh, click apply on the bottom there, and then you'll be good to go.